It's 10 trivia questions on decades of TV. I'll give you a show. You tell me what decade it premiered. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and thanks for being a Patreon subscriber. I'm going to call out some of those amazing supporters right now. How about Rebecca Meredith, Leslie Gerhardt, Christy Shipley, Cody Roslin, Rich Hijack, Robert Casey, Willie Powell, Casey O'Connor, Manny Cortez, Luke McKay, and Fiona Neville. You guys are fantastic. I've got 80 patrons at this time, and you can join the whole crew at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Remember, when you sign up for a dollar a month, you get the access to the feed with no ads on this show. So we just recently added advertisements, uh, which will help the income of the show and help us get bigger and better every day. So thank you for your support to get to that point. And if you don't want the ads, just go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds, sign up for a dollar and check out some of the other tiers there that you can sign up for as well. Thanks again to all those supporters. Today's episode, all about TV by the decade. I'm going to give you a show. You just got to name the decade that show premiered. And before we get to that, we've got our categories game. Today's letter is the letter J. And here are your categories. Types of drinks, cartoon characters, and computer programs. Letter J, types of drinks, cartoon characters, and computer programs. Listen to me answer those at the end of the show, along with the fact of the day. And let's all buckle up, because we're diving in to TV by the Decade trivia. Here we go. It's TV by the Decade. Name the decade from the show when it premiered. Let's see if you can get them all. Number one, Bones. Bones. Number two, Columbo. Columbo. Number three, Hot in Cleveland. Hot in Cleveland. Number four, Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Number five, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Scooby-Doo, where are you? Number six, the IT crowd, the IT crowd. Number seven, the Flintstone kids, the Flintstone kids. Number eight, Chopped, Chopped. Number nine, Batman Beyond, Batman Beyond. Number 10, Hill Street Blues, Hill Street Blues. And the bonus question here for TV by the Decade, need the exact year that Friends debuted. This is the only one where you have to have the exact year. What year did Friends debut? Those are all your questions on TV by the decade. I bet some of you got a perfect 11 out of 11. We'll be back with the answers to see after this. We are back with the answers to TV by the decade. Let's see if you got them all correct. Number one, Bones was the 2000s. And I was an extra on Bones way back in the day, probably about 10 years ago, because I think it was 2013. And I played a Cerberus employee when there was some sort of um, recurring like serial killer loose or something on Bones. And uh, it was some sort of facility. And it was like on lockdown because he had escaped. And so I'm in a few scenes wearing uh, a blue suit with like a lanyard around my neck. Uh, it would be very hard to find. But uh, if you look on Facebook, I'm sure I posted a screenshot 10 years ago. Number two, Columbo, the 1960s. One time I was an extra on Columbo. Just kidding. I wasn't born yet. Uh, number two, Columbo, 1960s. Number three, Hot in Cleveland, 2010s, Betty White's last major series. Hot in Cleveland, 2010s on TV Land. Number four, Will and Grace was the 90s. 90s. Number five, Scooby-Doo, Where Are you i believe this premiered in 1969 making it a 60s show 60s for scooby-doo where are you number six the it crowd one of my favorite sitcoms the 2000s 
2000s. Number seven, the Flintstone Kids, 1980s. 1980s, little cartoon spinoff a couple decades later or a decade later after the original. Number eight, Chopped was the 2000s. 2000s. Number nine, Batman Beyond was the 90s. Good animated series from the 90s. Number 10, Hill Street Blues, the 80s. And number 11, Friends debuted in 1994 to kick things off. And it was called, uh, what was it called? Something about the Oasis Cafe or Nexus Cafe. It was named after the coffee shop, which later became Central Perk. But uh, it had a longer title. And then they just went with Friends, which was probably a, a good call. Uh, that is today's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the show. And uh, thanks for signing up for Patreon. Remember, no ads on Patreon. Get your own RSS feed as soon as you sign up for a dollar or more. And if you're already a Patreon subscriber, you should have gotten a new alert that says, hey, put this in your favorite podcast app to get the show ad free. You can also download the Patreon app if you have that on your phone. And you can listen to the podcast in the Patreon app. And um, there's no ads there as well. Your fact of the day, Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone in 1876, suggested answering calls with ahoy instead of hello. So that would have been very cool. Or maybe that's how they started off and then it became hello, but ahoy, like you're on a ship. And the categories game, we had types of drinks, uh, Jay Jägermeister. That's my answer there. Cartoon characters, I'm going to say Jiminy Cricket. Is that with a J? Or? Yeah, that's 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 a J, right? Jiminy Cricket. Is Jiminy a real word? And number three computer programs, Java. Java. I feel good about those answers. Hopefully you had some fun ones too. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.